Hi guys, this is Chris with the company to be named later, and today we're going to look at a little project that we've been working on. Now, you've seen us post up some stuff before that you can wear on your wrist for our EDC line, which stands for Everyday Carry. We've seen a lot of stuff on forums and a lot of videos and a lot of people talking about putting a, a small survival kit inside an Altoids tin. Well, everybody has Altoids, everybody carries them, everybody likes clean breath. We decided to take it one step further and got a small Johnson & Johnson first aid kit and decided to build something in here because we like to go a little bit bigger here. So come along and let's see what's in here. Now as you can see when we open it up, we've got it pretty much stuffed full. Now bear with us, we're going to pull it out and show you guys what we have in here and give you a quick idea why. Now as everything with survival, starts basically fire is your lifesaver, fire is your friend, fire will help you. We decided to grab a UST ferro rod and striker. That way you've always got some way to create fire and you can throw a spark. We've dropped this in water, we've gotten it frozen, we've done a whole bunch of interesting stuff with it and it still throws a pretty decent spark. The one thing I'm going to warn everybody is when you get them, scrape the black paint off that's protecting the ferro rod underneath. That way you're not out there in you know middle of nowhere having a problem throwing a spark. Yes, go ahead and laugh. It is an unlubricated condom. We include unlubricated condom. We included this simply because it's a great way to store water. Um, I know it sounds weird. It can hold up to about a liter in here, or in a pinch, you can pull it back and use it as a small slingshot. There's a whole bunch of other uses out there, but for those two uses, multiple, we threw it in. We had to put a signaling mirror in here because you never know when you're going to have to signal somebody or just, hey, I'm over here, hey, I'm over here. We included a small bag for helping carry water because water is essential to you. We put in some Tinder Quick, rough the ends up. It'll take a spark and it will help you start your fire a whole heck of a lot better. Yes, in case we've done something stupid to ourselves, we've included some Motrin. Our friends over at Survive Outdoors Longer, we got a very small flashlight from them. Oh, which way do you turn on? Don't tell me I killed the batteries already. But small flashlight can help. Yeah, there we go. Small little fishing kit. For, you know, good old remembrance days, we included a P38 can opener, which you can use on your ferro rod to help strike sparks. A small little Gerber blade, because you never know when you're going to need a knife out there if you've lost yours that you should be carrying. Very small button compass, help you find your way little sig uh, signaling whistle that way in case if you know you're damaged legs broken can't really move you can yelp for help for lack of a better phrase I can't believe the Paw Patrol. help you start a fire a different way we've included a Fresno lens and last some cards from our friends over at ready man their fishing card and their outdoor survival card so we figure between these guys, it's going to help extend your life, and it's going to help you be able to hopefully stay alive a little bit longer so help can find you. It's pretty lightweight. You can carry it in your pocket, and hopefully if we can get a good deal on a whole bunch of items, these will be on our web store shortly. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.